This march marks the 25th anniversary of the World Wide Web, which was invented by British scientist Tim Berners-Lee in 1989. He also developed the first web browser known as the World Wide Web in 1990. Now, the first readily accessible web browser is known as Line Mode, which was written by Nicola Pello and was launched in 1992. Now, the Line Mode browser that she wrote uh, is very important because it could be used on a variety of platforms. The web should not be limited to just a single platform, and it could be used even on the most basic of terminals. In this video, we're going to be connecting to a remote Unix system which has the Line Mode browser available, and we're going to be accessing the first web page hosted at the European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN. Now, there are several methods that we could go about connecting to the remote Unix system. We're going to be using a modem. Now, typically when we think of modems, something similar to these uh, may come to mind. Here is a US Robotics and a Hayes. Both of these operate at 14400 bits per second and respond to the AT command set. Going further back in time, modems such as these, both that operate uh, at 0 to 300 bits per second, did not have any internal command set. Instead, you would have to set the toggle switches at the front to the appropriate position, uh, either answer or originate, and this would generate the respective Bell 103 frequencies. We're also going to be using a Bell 103 compliant modem. Uh, the modem that we're going to be using is unable to answer calls, but is able to originate. Here we have a Livermore Model B that was manufactured around the mid-1960s to early 70s. It operates between 0 to 300 bits per second. It does not connect uh, directly to the telephone line, but instead uses an acoustic coupler uh, where the telephone handset would sit inside. On the side of the Livermore, you have a DB25 connector that provides RS-232 communication. We're going to need a terminal uh, uh, telephone, of course, and for this uh, we have a rotary dial uh, model 500 with a Type G handset. And the Type G handset is nice because it fits very snugly in the Livermore modem. Finally, a uh, terminal is going to be needed, and as mentioned earlier, the um, line mode browser could be used even on the most basic of terminals. In this case, we're going to be using an ASR33 teletypewriter, which is of similar vintage uh, to the Livermore around the 60s, uh, early 70s. And the ASR33 teletypewriter would have been used to connect to uh, remote time sharing systems during its day or other usages. The ASR33 teletype can uh, communicate at 110 bits per second in ASCII and has a paper tape reader and punch off to the side. They are currently configured for full duplex communication and uh, operates on a 20 milliamp current loop. So let's get this all connected and we'll go from there. Here we are at our terminal ready to dial out. Now the ASR33 teletypewriter operates on a 20 milliamp current loop, so the presence or absence of current would signify a 1 or a 0, whereas our Livermore modem operates on the RS-232 protocol where voltage levels would indicate uh, a 1 or a 0. We're going to need some way to convert this, so we have a loop converter running from the teletype over category 5 cabling is our 20 milliamp signal which is fed into one end of the loop converter. On the other end we have a null modem cable which is run to the modem. On the remote end we have a Hayes Stack smart modem. This is the first smart modem that Hayes came out with, with that uh, will respond to the AT command set and it will operate between 0 to 300 bits per second. In this case the teletype um, operates at 110 bits per second, so that would be the speed that we're going to be communicating to the Hayes uh, modem over uh, the telephone system. From this end, we're going to be using our Livermore. So now we'll dial out. So 
we can hear now the remote Bell 103 answer frequency. We'll place the handset in the Livermore acoustic coupler. We'll turn on the Livermore. And now at this point in time, we'll turn on our Tele typewriter. So if everything goes according to plan, once we press the uh, carriage return button on the Tele typewriter, we should be prompted for our uh, login information. So there's our login uh, prompt, and at this point in time, we're going to be zooming in closer to the teletype so we can get a better view of accessing the first web page hosted on CERN's site. Okay, so we've moved the modem to the side, and we brought the camera in for a better view, and we're going to proceed to log in. Okay, so now we're at the uh, prompt. We've logged into Solaris. Uh, let's test connectivity on the Solaris box out to the internet. Okay, so it looks like we're able to ping Google. Uh, let's go ahead and change directory to where uh, the line mode browser executable is located. Now, when we're sending characters from the uh, teletype, they're being sent in capital letters. The uh, ASR33 can only send uh, capital letters, so we've configured the terminal on uh, Solaris so that uh, capital letters are converted to lowercase. So if we do indeed want to specify uh, a capital letter, we first have to issue uh, an escape control V. So now we can uh, notice the uh, backslash before the letter L, and this indicates uh, this letter L is a capital L. Okay, so we've changed over to the directory. Now we can go ahead and we can uh, execute uh, the line mode uh, browser. Now we can also specify the URL that we would wish to navigate to right here. So uh, I don't remember the actual uh, URL to uh, the first web page that's located on CERN's website, but uh, we do have uh, a bookmark of it available. So we can go ahead and we can insert this paper tape bookmark uh, into our paper tape leader, and uh, that will allow us to access the first web page.
Okay, so we'll hit return, and that should bring up uh, the first web page. in time we can access uh, a hyperlink you'll notice that there's numbers printed after uh, some of these uh, hyperlinks and in order to access uh, since we're not able to click I mean we're using a, a text mode uh, terminal we would have to simply enter in the number so here for example if you want to have uh, if you want to get more information on the line mode browser you simply enter 12 to access that link and then we press return, and that will give us more information on the line mode web browser. So at this point in time, we're going to go ahead and we're going to quit out of uh, line mode. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, log out of uh, Solaris. We're going to end our terminal session. you enjoyed watching the various pieces of vintage equipment used throughout this video to access the first web page. Hopefully you found some of this material informative and if you have any comments or suggestions please feel free to leave it in the area down below. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.